Welcome back. It's Tuesday and it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday and uh, it's, it's, it's been an awesome moment with Barry Moore alongside the guys that he had, you know, talking about the impact of devolution. And right now, I want us to shift gears for just a moment. But before then, of course, you can check out on our Facebook page. We have got a question for you and uh, we are asking, is waking up early or waking up late or rather sleeping late really helpful at all? Keep on bring, uh, sending your views, of course, through our channels, of course, of social media. That is on Facebook, that is Y254, and on Twitter at Y254 channel. Uh, before then, I'm joined by a group of young men, the Clan Arts. Karibuni yeah. sana Nice to be here. Yeah. So I just wanted to use your mics. Mustumi tu venye mepewa tu vizuri sana. Then we roll the shawama ni aje. So siji tu wanze kwa Ishmael, ama tu wanze kwa Joshua, ama siji tu wanze wapi? You know, kind of Ishmael yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chairman, <laughs> let's do this. Just introduce yourself. Uh, I go by the name Ishmael. Mm -hmm. My code name is Mizi K.E. All right, AKA. Yeah, my AKA right. is Mizi K.E. But official name is Ishmael Oluoch. Yes. Hey, fiti fiti. So what do you do in clan arts? Okay, I do portraits mm -hmm. and I customize clothes and shoes. And right. I also paint on canvas. All right. Let's get to hear from Jerry. Jesse. Hey, Niyaji. Poor sana, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just introduce yourself. Okay, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, my name is Jesse Cat Williams, mm -hmm. a.k.a. Trapper. <laughs> Trap. Uh -huh. Yeah. The first time, I was ever told that I was like, I'm not going to come. I'm not going to come. Jesse Cat Williams. I'm not going to come. I'm not going to come. All right. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to in 2017, yeah. On so an individual Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we joined, I joined Clan Arts mm -hmm. this year, 2019, mm -hmm. February. Yeah. All right, so uh, let, let, me, let me ask probably Joshua Kozen on the LNMBN, yes, from your organization, Zewa. Ah, uh, see me, me. See, uh, <laughs> but yeah. I think we'll be back to come here. Yeah. Uh, it's Jesse. Yeah, you mentioned yeah. something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so Jesse, let's talk about now the clan art in general because before even allow them even to get now to specifically what they do and allow us to explain further. Muli okay. Anzalini clan art. Okay, clan art started on um, it was January second. Mm -hmm. So we were doing like uh, construction, like we got a shop up or Buruburu. Yeah. So generally we started. Uh, yeah, that's when we started. All right, so it's generally this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So just we just came up together, and we were like, uh, okay, I do tattoos, I still do arts. Mizi does arts, does piercings and Sly. Sly mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. does, uh, yeah, paintings, drawings, and everything, mm -hmm. customizations and everything. So we just came up together, and we were like, let's do this, like was one mm -hmm. so that's when like the clan arts was uh, how did you meet you guys <coughs> like what street am or what how did you meet? <coughs> okay uh i knew me from a friend mm -hmm. joshua we've been in high school together right and i knew sly from yeah all right all right Sly from now from ishmael yeah uh no you know i'm gonna dread so probably high school mentally like that's the case he started mm -hmm. first he started first then yeah. he started for that yeah it means you're gonna have all right so <laughs> how many all right how many people are you in clan arts yeah, actually four mm -hmm. yeah so someone is missing sly sly yeah the right lady. Lady. Uh, i'm gonna go to now uh stories in your neighborhood to not come to represent leo all right, all right. Let's first of all talk about art, yeah. which I believe is what now actually we are showcasing right now. And uh, I want to ask, when you're doing art, what are the things that probably you think and consider? First, I consider the the audience. I have to impress the audience so that mm -hmm. I can get clients. My my work has to be neat, yeah, and I have to every artwork should be better than the last one. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a point of development and growth each and every time you find art. Yes. How do you keep the consistency of like doing something to perfection, or rather to that level of feeling? Yeah, you keep doing a couple of things. 
have some audience and even my colleagues will tell me if I did, if I drew better than the last one, or I still have to put more effort. Mm -hmm. So yeah. All right. Uh, looking at some probably some of the reasons that you have yeah. done, especially like Kayo Mashika Apple Sijini and okay, so. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> anyway, like how long does it take for you to do such kind of a thing? It depends. And probably with the a rough estimation before you even respond, a rough estimation of how much it would cost for you to do all that at. Uh maybe in person I can't I can't just say it on live TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but for the people that you use and the pencils uh, and the lot and like do kuna mfukos ko different, yeah. Okay. Kuna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kuna people who are willing to pay more than what I propose, and mm -hmm. some people don't have that that money. Yeah, but but I, I simply love what you guys are doing, and it's quite nice, it's amazing, especially looking at my yako. How long does it take to get a yako? It depends on the amount of details, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and how how busy I am. But okay, in terms of from, I can do other other things than, than this one. I can take from maybe six hours uh, to okay. ten hours, yeah, to finish and this a three size mm -hmm. yeah okay uh, as you give the mic to jesse b before you even do that let me ask you because now i kind of like myself i busy is there anything else you do other than art yeah i also paint i paint shoes and all right so you also do shoes uh, i paint mm -hmm. shoes and clothes denims t-shirts so you also did these yeah all right uh how did you even manage to put these here i did a sketch then right. uh, i just painted so initially it was a drawing? Yeah, it, it was a picture, actually. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I, I sketched on that denim jacket, then I painted. All right, so from everything it's you, from the jacket, or it's just you bought the jacket, then you... Yeah, I bought the jacket and I painted. All right, so it comes along with the, with the request of the client. The client, yeah. But mm -hmm. this one I, I painted for, so that I can showcase something. Mm -hmm. When people as are asking i can show them as, mm. a, as a sample all right uh, i love i simply love what you're doing it's it's so nice and amazing and i know even the rest of the team like joshua call like mazenta fikio lini nita fikio lini but before then i, I love what you man mazenta fanya he art mazesi mchezo now i shimu sana uh, you can probably now talk to jesse umesema mko based wapi first and foremost and to based buru buru mm -hmm. uh face one opposite outcome okay face one face yeah. one yes yeah. Thank you very much. This one took us out. Anyway, uh, is there anything else to do other than art? Well, I'm a DJ. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Okay, my DJ, what am I coffee? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, yeah, um, I'm part of a group called 200,000 Music Business. Um, yeah, from our head, DJ Levin Yax to DJ Joni. Mm -hmm. Other things I do, um, I'm a breeder, a dog breeder. All right. Yeah, so I usually sell dogs and everything. You sell dogs in the evening? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, no, I'm just asking what you say. So yeah. you're still part of your business, dear? Yeah. All right. Actually, uh, the profits that I make when I'm selling dogs, mm -hmm. I actually just take them even to the shop. Like, when it comes to growing and everything, supplies and everything, yes. All right, uh, that's that's so nice. And like you probably work to me too, Mike Vipoya, because in a kaku break, yes. Looking at it, Jesse, yeah. there's so much that uh, you say you do. How do you get to manage all these? Well, how can I put this? I just manage. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Yeah, just like, okay, I can just plan myself. Mm -hmm. It's all about planning. Mm -hmm. Like, I can do this one, two, three, and four. And. At the end of the day, I can like just hit four birds with one stone. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you decided to hit four birds with eight and every that you wake up. Yeah. So uh, every time probably you wake up can give us a rough a rough idea of like okay, I'm gonna say mangalona na kufanya i kufanya GPS in kufanya art kufanya nini like pop. Okay, so um, usiku mm -hmm. is the time I go DJing and everything. Right. In the morning I go to the shop, the clan art and everything studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I can do the tattoos, drawings, and everything. When it comes to the dog business, mm -hmm. I can handle it online. All right. Yeah. So we can talk about probably something we were mentioning earlier on about the economy that is advancing on the technological ways. You do technologically online, where you do online. Yeah. All right. Let's talk to Joshua Manya Hapa. 
Yeah. So Joshua, you do you do the piercing part of it and the tattoos? Uh, piercing. Piercing. Yeah. So he does the tattoos. Then you for you you do the, the piercing. piercing. Yeah. That's why I kona kada wea una. Ninyo. Piercing. Piercing kona. Man, I only can't even. Hey. 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 Iko, iko too fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nicho challenge ziko, always ziko also, but kungana tu lazim. What are some of the challenges probably in a time where you have to do it? Yeah, kapata, unapata clients and you have to do it. Because kumzimu, una mungoja, ayuko, amigo, and you have to do it. So, you know, but you have to do more and more and more clients. Mm-hmm. Each day, you have to do it. You have to do new clients. So, you have to do it. At least, you have at least, you have to do it. At least, you have to do it. You have to so uh looking at how probably you you guys work and r- as you work as a team yeah, yeah, yeah uh, team. when looking at the clients that come how do you get to know like for instance this is how we're gonna handle this don't you guys have like why should you buy this no actually everyone has a, his own way of doing things okay. like i'm only doing piercing he's doing tattoo so mm-hmm. we can't be, we can't collect these clients mm-hmm. or anything so when it's come to arts we at drawing everything they know how to divide themselves. All right. Yeah. Make one little moment here, like by the way, by the way, you are funny. Yeah, when it comes to me and Mizi by the day, uh-huh. <laughs> it's good to be honest. Let the guys who are watching work well, like, yeah. to be honest. You know? uh-huh. We both do art. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, we both do art and mm-hmm. everything. So, when I come, I'm like, hey, I'm saying that I'm drawing Billy, so I'm not funny or more than any. But Jacob, Sana. I'm not Jacob, Sana. I'm not Jacob, Sana. I'm not Jacob, Sana. I'm not Jacob, I'm not Jacob, Sana. 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 I'm not Jacob, <laughs> but as as you're doing that, uh, let me let me talk to to Ishmael uh, When you're talking about uh, art, we have several people who are doing art right now. How how would you say that art is being accepted in Kenya? For now, it has improved, mm-hmm. but not yet. People don't appreciate art. Mostly Kenyans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you just you don't. You can't lose hope. You just mm-hmm. have to keep going, yeah. Because mm-hmm. there are people who are willing to pay more than what we charge, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. So uh, when you talk about people who are willing to pay even more than you charge, as these kind of people probably you are like, umse nezam charge kiasi flani umse kiasi flani umefiki rekiti kama yo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I charge people according to not not the dressing code. <laughs> How you come? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the even the body language you can say if you have money or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Could you tell yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I charge people according to who you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you think the industry is growing quite well? Yeah, it's growing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people are starting to appreciate that. All right, so but back to you, Joshua. Yeah. It seems like there's so much in this box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you have quite a different number of even earrings and piercing and all those stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. These are the earrings. Mm-hmm. So, is any tattoo guns at the end of that yes, yeah. mm-hmm. So, the piercing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the gloves. You so, do you hold the mic for you? Uh, right. Mm-hmm. So, the gloves, mm-hmm. we have even alcohol pad. Lubrication for the Are ladies. Really? Yeah. Okay. Fair. <laughs> After an hour. So he na said ya nini? So he na said ya needle kupita. As in when you na kupia si na kuwa easy. So you apply directly. Yeah. Right. Ah, I no, wish we had time we would have done that. Yeah. Mm. So the needles is equal different. Mm-hmm. Different sizes, different size actually. Mm-hmm. Na ina depend na the ring. The size of the ring. Yeah. All right. Plus, for example. Mm-hmm. This is a tank ring. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you get like thickness ya ya i bayake. Mhm. Don't to me a little big. All right. But the moment you know difference ni hii ni kubwa na needle laziko the same. Wao msianeza mess. Okay. So pia sana anaweza mess client vibaya sana. Yeah. 
So considering the size of the needle is what is the most key point. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's mm-hmm. the most key point. Na plus even the stud is the most key point because unaweza tumia needle kubwa stud ni ndogo so the bleeding will be excess actually. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So these are forceps mm-hmm. we used to hold the, right. some of the places like belly piercing. It's, uh, mostly baby belly piercing mm-hmm. do tunatumia forceps uh, tunatumia hizi tip so a tip mm-hmm. this a uh, tube receiver mm-hmm. mostly to keep your nose masikio places guys or in koga easy to pierce na mse na plus ina help piercer asi hata ajidonge all right yeah mm-hmm. so hii na kuanga ya kuwekelea hapa juu mna kufanya nini inaekelea chini it's mostly unaekelea hasa pale needle itapitia. All right. Yeah. So ukiekelea tu hapo inapita tu. Yeah, inapita poa, alafu unaweza pata inakusaidia kushikilia saa. Mhm. Kwa sababu handle needle vipo. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tunatumia pia togo. Natumia za kill tips ku clean. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 mostly the place um appears. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Inakusaidia ku clean for and everything it's easy actually using these ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So once is the once you ume you need to clean it up. Yeah, you need to clean it up. Actually I use sea salt, mm-hmm. a mixture of sea salt and warm water. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's all. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's that's and so nice. The alcohol part is for actually clean cleaning before piercing. Right. This is now used for. Presumably you can just open. Yeah. Yes. This is actually for cleaning before piercing. All right. Uh, I clean the place before I pierce. All right, yeah. just for cleaning in, just to ensure that all the yeah, dirt yeah, they, and all yeah, that. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Now, that one. Mm-hmm. So let me let me ask about the the size of the needle as you mentioned. Yeah. We have different sizes. Yeah, we have different sizes. How do you define them or rather how if by chance I came I came to you as a client and I don't know the size that I want if someone probably is watching and is like what kind of sizes do you have? Actually I look where I, I'm piercing mm-hmm. because when I get sometimes someone mostly this parts of the ear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mtu ni ndogo ama mapopi unapata nyingine ni ndogo so una, una ama ule so mipia different what what are different be there ata ata tank piercing what are different okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so unaangalia nga tu client una unamwambia mm-hmm. juu pia kuna places zingine hazizi piercing right unapata pia belly zingine hazizi piercing so okay. lazima ka ka piercer lazima uko na help um say come guide and i'm sure how, how it goes mm-hmm. when it akua cartoons are change place cartoons are fanya kitu different lazima muongee msikizani pia all right yeah. you mentioned something about uh, considering whether or not whether yeah. to or not to pierce yeah. what are some of the things that you consider when saying by the upper twizi kupias if size mm-hmm. when you don't make sure unapata mm-hmm. mse yako na size ndogo yes, na yeah. needle anataka mm-hmm. ring anataka ni kubwa mm-hmm. so naweza kuambia tu reality like are you easy because ne, if i pierce there it's mostly inaweza pata uko na inaweza kuumiza mm-hmm. ama unapata zingine unapata gram size imetoka right yeah what if mzee manzee me feel like anya manzee i wanted this manzee kwa ni mbona nisifanywe hivi yeah so si tunaongea tuna crew na kuambia nga reality na kuonesha ukweli juu kuna ma clients walikuja wamekuja wame na story weird sana ring ilitoka so una kwa opia samwe ya limpia siringi toke aku mm-hmm. consider vitu kama hizo size venye iko place yeah. anaiweka aku muongelesha yali alien li happen to i'm loving the way you're engaging but i have a simple <laughs> question for you like <laughs> i'm saying come but i keep ni lazima ni lazima and insist on it amu ku refer amu kuambia twende utafute place nyingine so you don't want to mess up with your job na sisi yeah. <laughs> ni ikitu ni compassionate na na sisi tutaka kuumiza uh-huh. jo yangu ni kuona nimekupias mhm uh-huh. na imepona na iko fit hiyo na ina kwa gani success atikupona yeah okay. healing healing pain na depend okay yeah mm-hmm. because i've seen people who have had probably it may not be the better way but let me just keep because you pierce mm-hmm. i've seen people often times say i'm a pierce who on the ear already any other part then often times una pata like for instance the ear ime fula sana yeah so you sign healing mm-hmm. una pata venyali akupewa instruction labda poa ya venya ta treat your mask hiyo mm-hmm. ama hiyo place ana fa pierce exactly or una za get the ring the ring zingine pia ni fake all right yeah so una pata akutumia stainless mm-hmm. alitumia type nyingine mm-hmm. so una get in a more effect so okay. you also ask those questions if you have an allergy of something to your venya i condone your sister start pia ndatumia All right. Yeah. Amazing. Let me let me ask probably as we as probably we go to Jesse uh talking about the ear, the nose and the probably the umbilical venya mnataka kupi us. 
the difference is in like in terms of as you said in terms of the ear and the like mm. the, is there any difference unaweza kaa yenye iko hapa weke kwa poa ama yeah unaweza mostly ka ina ita itatosha mm-hmm. mostly pack kayo design pita kwa poa mm-hmm. because kuna wenye wanakujanga ya, ya nose ring na inakuwa mm-hmm. ni loop okay. na the same loop inaweza tumia kwa masikio mm-hmm. so ukiana tu inaweza toshea ukiona the thickness ya ring iko sawa body iko sawa aja ako tu sawa now to go forward with it all right yeah. eh sawa sawa <laughs> okay many thanks for that probably i don't know whether we need to talk now we can hold on to the mic yeah, i Santa. think now we need to talk to <laughs> Jesse himself and i know Jesse is like man ngoja hiki kitu nimengoja sana nimengoja sana so Jesse explain to us how you do the tattoos and like okay um mm-hmm. basically it's okay let's just talk it's okay basically mm-hmm. this is the tattoo machine most right. people know it as the tattoo gun mm-hmm. yeah this is a a coil It's a mm-hmm. coil machine. So what happens is you see this coil a coil machine. A coil. Yeah. Coil. A coil machine. There's a rotary, but this one is a coil one. Okay. The difference is the rotary one doesn't make noise. This one is the one that makes noise. You can even hear noise. it. Yeah. Right. So what happens is the needle mm-hmm. passes through here. Mm-hmm. And then um the contact screw and the armature bar. This is called an armature bar. Um when you connect it to the the kindly I'm scared to mic so ukia kwa kwa machine ya nini ni to monitor actually mm-hmm. so what happens unaweza mm-hmm. unaweza to demonstrate here hata oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is the needle mm-hmm. kama yake pia needles are different uh, sizes and everything this is a liner Um what happens is one of these in the app. And then when you connect it to the monitor, na steam and everything, it goes So it uses electricity. Up yeah. All right. It goes up and down. Mm-hmm. Design here, uh, let me just show you. Dog. So, so this is the needle. the needle. Yeah. All right. So what happens? Mm-hmm. You just open this. Mhm. All right. Then you carefully mm-hmm. just put it in. So there's been a technicality. Yeah, I see. Okay, this is a tip. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, to me it's quite tip mm-hmm. It's okay. So what happens is the needle in it is quite tip. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. it sticks on to here. All right. The It's called a nipple actually it's a nipple it's called a nipple you just put it here and then the amateur bar goes up and down up like upwards and downwards and you can like when it's on gets a rate yeah speed in in and so what happens is the needle goes like this mm-hmm. but it goes so fast design like you cannot even see it, like moving and everything so you just pass it on let's say you have your stencil on you pass it on on the skin just just on top all right in a very 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 slow motion like you shouldn't be going fast How, and what everything. was the speed of the needle movement it's actually 9 9 i use i usually use 9.2 right yeah so just pass, pass it on on the on the nini mm-hmm. on the skin and everything in a very slow motion mm-hmm. okay you can go fast depends with the skill of the that artist right. and everything yeah so a yeah, basic basically that's it all right uh, i'm prompted to ask this question yeah. how long does a tattoo or rather just a common tattoo need to take for you to for you to be done as an as the one who's doing the the, the the simplest like let's say a name can go to up to like let's say 10 minutes to 20 minutes if it's a very huge tattoo let's say a taiwan uh taiwan that could mm-hmm. be like seven hours mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh if problem same come kwako. Yeah. Anataka kufanywa tu just uh, a normal art. But wewe ukiangalia una feel yenyewe iki to some sort of like uh, how how we feel kufana. What do you do in such a in such a case? Okay. As an artist, mm-hmm. I just sit down with you. Mm-hmm. Um we can have a conversation like two normal people like hey, we can do this. You can tell me your idea and I can put it into consideration and everything. So um so me come and I drink any and a day kabisa I'm the one looks for the designs and everything. Mhm. Come and see me and I got to in a casual 
mumrifa kwa msemo mwingine. Right. Uh, there have been cases in the past that Illuminati is somehow affiliated, you know, to the worshipings jinini. So, <laughs> I don't know what, what's your take about that? Ni kama kusema the right of passage yao sudi yao wenye ukatwa ngo hapa ni Illuminati. So, unataka uh, kunemeta the right of passage? As is the is right of passage. But to me it's but actually all my tattoos have a meaning all right. and everything it's a way of expressing myself. Mm -hmm. So most people wear it for beauty. Other mm -hmm. people wear it for maybe um, how can I put this? Maybe there's something that has happened in his or mm -hmm. their life and everything. Mm -hmm. But mine personally, it's for expressing myself. All right. Like I can just sit down and one day I'm going to like be telling stories to my kids and everything. <laughs> yeah. Has there has there been a time when your client comes and says like, I wish I never did this tattoo? Well, Nikianza. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. I remember I did one. <laughs> was on a tie. Ali, could I actually this? Yeah, can you text? Can you ambia? Kuna venye tuneza tengeneza it hatu. Aki, ata sezi o nyeshe o tatu venye likuna kam. I did that tat. And from henceforth, I like started do it, doing it on myself because niliona ni zaribu I say yeah so nikaanza kuji practice your own my mm -hmm. tie and everything ndo nikakompa nikaanza sasa kurudi so your body business. was now the part of now doing the the practice <laughs> so meza za tatu kwa mwili eh mapajangu <laughs> kuna madogo than you need okay if it's a sense that I tattoo is there any possible means to do yeah mm -hmm. laser actually but i don't do it you don't do it yeah but i have friends who do it why would you prefer msia kuja kwa baba they would like to change these to toy tweaking nyingine i actually do that sifanya mm -hmm. laser so when someone like come with a very bad tattoo mm -hmm. we like we can change it into another one mm -hmm. so i just sit down with my creativeness nichore and then yeah. okay now let's talk about uh, the issue of like uh, nimekuja lakini sitaki venye unafanya nataka venye mimi nitakwambia in a way like humbly please like kuna venye umeweka hapa but hapo haini bambi like typically nataka unitolee e. is it possible <laughs> and there are those guys venye nimemuuliza tu like yeah. by the way wako sitaki kitu umeweka tu kidogo chini and you like easy kitu tu tunatoaeleza okay actually uh -huh. there's one uh -huh. alikuja check a stencil uh -huh. ako like nikamuuliza kopo nimbe kopo tumemaliza ako like okay si si feel pali iko oh there's no going back it shall happen it shall happen mm -hmm. it may happen it may happen and mm -hmm. i'm like i asked mm -hmm. so basically it's not my fault mm -hmm. so wh 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 what came to you kafil by the need to be doing tattoos is it a passion something okay ilianza nikiwa form 2 okay yeah mm -hmm. actually um nilikuwa napenda kuchora say na bairo kwa mwili tukiboeka tuko oh, high school mates <laughs> tuko preps <laughs> so tuko i hope that ismail pia alikuwa anafanya hivyo but we'll come to him just to be ismail eh tuko preps manze boeka tuko like eh we boeka this is some manze ni manze art ilikuwa in a run vibaya sana so mm -hmm. there's a day ni katoka inje out of school and everything there was a tattoo shop nearby ni can get the tattoo shop and I just fell in love with the art and everything. Nika kwa like, okay, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. So I went for my first tattoo Nika for me too. On a personal account, someone did that tattoo for you. Well, yeah. still in form too. Yep. How was the school response? Okay. What was the school's <laughs> response? Because I'm like, yani shule, you know. Look <laughs> at. Okay. Mimi nilikuwa na tatu. Joshua. Eh? Mimi nilienda nilimchora. So after the tattoo was done then went to Joshua to practice. Akuzi. Actually that was in still in form 2. So All right, can you use your mic? I siku siku na fanya tattoos at that time. Actually my grandmother she's the one who bought my first tattoo kit. Your grandmother. Yeah. Support from grandma. Yeah. Okay. So um I started like after like as soon as i finished mm -hmm. nilianza tattooing like that was in 2015 mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> 2015, so yeah from 2 nilikuwa tu sasa na painful for you i'm only got 2 million months in down on nini okay i think it's in a dependency mm -hmm. ju mikwango honestly 
Na hiyo assumption ni kwa wengi tunasema anga kitu ni painful sana. Actually even someone when you are one and usemanga hivyo. Ati wenye? When you are one tatu ndo usemanga ni uchungu. When you are one. When you are one. Exactly. When you exactly. so, <laughs> you are one too. Exactly. On 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 honest basis. Nikoanga painful. I'm I'm because I'm reconsidering whether I should have one. Ina depend you wapi unaweka. Kuna places like the very painful like kama kwa shingo. Mhm. Kwa shingo mgu. Mhm. Which part of mgu? Masguembe. Okay. <laughs> tumbo. Mhm. Uh-huh. Tumbo pia jo. Zi. Uh-huh. But the 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 least painful parts ni come up. Mhm. Apo si uchungu. Has someone and I like also you should probably to respond to this. Has someone ever come to you and uh, an attack at a two place flani and you feel like I can't do this. Okay, in a depend na person do to ongea yo yo yo. Hey guys. Apo apo person do to ongea. Why? Eh eh person do to ongea. Okay. Do you want anything? Nafika bay. For even for you ni pesa ifike. I'm going to pesa. Kuna 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 places zingine nye. Come to na kuja place explicit. So any ambako nyu na ona tu. Hi five. Yeah, but you can compensate yeah. <laughs> mental damage. Okay. <laughs> mental damage. All right. So, so let's talk now to Ishmael. Ishmael, uh, I know you have been a bit silent for this because they've been talking about what exactly they do. Now let's dwell on art on the drawings that you do. Uh you use pencils and pens or what do you use? I use graphite pencils. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and colored pencils and I also paint. I use paint. All right, uh, nikiangalia hapo kwa hiyo picha yangu manzeni naona sina pimple hata moja niko tu hata hapa niko bright. What usually does hiyo hiyo nini ya ku nini hizo vitu? Okay, I blend the pencil using a tissue paper or a blending stamp. All right. Yeah. Mhm. Lakini it depends the clients ka ataki pimple sitaka. Okay. Cuz goal ni customer satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as a group probably to you, uh, what's your biggest aim when you're doing art? want to be the most influential artist mm-hmm. yani across the world yeah all right so we're looking forward to be one of the most renowned yeah all right uh because of time guys man we need to end up but before then i want us to look on to your instagram page there's so much that you guys have been doing posting some few posts let's have a look at some of the things that you've been doing kuna portraits of course kuna piercing kuna blues it's tiny tattoos and all the stuff so th- these are some of the things that you're okay kuna cartoon okay sawa <laughs> all right let's keep scrolling uh looking at these the tattoo on the far the tattoo right there hiyo ina taking how long kutengeneza yes that one actually took just one hour just one hour and the one on the, on the bottom side okay it took uh, seven hours Seven hours. What's 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 usually the measure of the time? What's the difference between the time that it will take? Depends. Can you use the mic? Okay, it depends with the size. Mm-hmm. Actually, the size is always uh, if it's big, mm-hmm. that that was it. Akwatu obviously it akwa hours nyingi. When it ikwa nindogo, it akwa obviously ni akiasi so like kama i ni za take like twenty minutes. 20 minutes the service is now with your expertise and ex- exactly. experience in your corner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So by the do you do do you do um wall wall wall, wall painting? Yeah, I also do wall paintings right. but mm-hmm. unless the cli- so our clients come comes right. up yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about the shoes. Just a minute probably can just the shoes and the painting. How do you get to do all these because I see this is just a shoe that you have just painted with these images. I, I first do a, a simple sketch with mm-hmm. a pencil mm-hmm. then I apply the paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you just do a sketch? S- sketch is the most mm-hmm. important thing. Yeah. All right, how long does this take to finish? 2 to 3 hours. Each pair or each shoe or pair? Pair. All right. All right. All right. I love manze what you guys are doing. So pr- on presumption in a quick experience can can gap you. In a thing in the mingi. I'm about to say to the estimated uh, amount. Uh 1000 shillings. A dollar. 1000 shillings. Or you you mean a dollar? Yeah. One just a hundred. Ten dollars. Oh, ten dollars. Yeah. That's a thousand. Yeah. All right. Sawa sawa basi. So I uh, only do rubber shoes ama any type of shoe. It depends on the client. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So so let's keep scrolling and check more onto what you guys have been doing. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, what you guys have been doing has been really so nice and it's something that probably it's of good concern and I really big up on you even for the cartoons no excuse you have to change card in a cartoon mmeamua kufanya kazi nani oh let's just let's hold on to the mic slay ndo alichora sasa oh slay yeah yeah pia ni artist so so slay does also art yeah so they are the three of them so the one outstanding new era sasa no competitor Yeah. All right guys, once they are forcing we are running out of time and we need to call it a date from the Kioski up as easy it so as we can allow Barry Moses to come in. Mas it has been really nice to have you Joshua Jesse. Yes, thank you sana. Mas it has been nice to have you. I hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah, sana. All right, that has been Entrepreneurship Tuesday with Clan Arts. My name is Karanja Alex. Many thanks for keeping it. And before we go, I have a question for each and every one of you. Between waking up early and sleeping, sleeping late and waking up early, which of the two benefits you? Yeah, well, I'm going to depend. Ni depend na nini? Ni unona kuna saa tuna tuna saa mwenda na hizo gigs, kuna saa mufanya sound for hire. So unapata naweza lala naweza mkalete. Ndio nimekuwa usiku mzima ama kuna saa tunafanya pia hiyo booking ya asubuhi. Okay. Clients wanakuja asubuhi like early at 7 so ina back pia unarauka. Okay. So hiyo tu tu ni ina depend. Okay, <laughs> let me hear from you. Jesse waking up early. Waking up early. Why? I'm a morning person. Morning person to do what exactly? Those four things I've just <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear from Ishmael. <laughs> I sleep late. You sleep? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing, yeah. Drawing. I draw at night because at that time where the world is quiet. It's All right. calm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, many thanks guys. Thanks so very much for your response. That has been it. We call it a day for now. We call it a time for now because Barry Moss is still coming up next with another interview. Don't go anywhere. This is why 254. Cheers, cheers. Thanks so very much guys. I much appreciate it. And big up on yourself, Mazai. Thanks so very much for coming. Peace.